What's new tonight, a state program that helps first time home buyers is so popular that it's running out of money. 12 News journalist Bram Resnick introduces us to two Valley retirees who just moved into their first home thanks to the new program. Andre Beaky and Linda Blacks were longtime renters. Nice, quiet neighborhood. That's why we love it as a home. As of two weeks ago, the retirees are first time home buyers. It's really, really good feeling. When you open the door, you go inside and see it. home belongs to you. It's sweet home. The couple's unaffordable housing story is shared by renters across the valley. First was the rent was affordable and then little by little start rising. They started raising the, the rent. But then a door opened. No more worries about rising rent. They needed to just, you know, have some down payment assistance to just help them get in the door and purchase their first home. Brenda Lopez leads Trellis, a Phoenix-based home ownership counselor that worked with the couple. How tough has it been to find actual homes that are affordable? That's a little tougher, um, but again, with the down payment assistance, it makes it possible. This is the two-bedroom, two-bath townhome in Sun City the couple bought with $70,000 in down payment assistance. 30000 of that from the four-month-old Arizona at Home Fund created by Governor Katie Hobbs. I think about when I was a kid and talking to my parents about home ownership, and those conversations are so different now with my own children. Hobbs, lawmakers, and housing advocates mark the passage this year of new laws to deal with the affordability crisis. The $13 million Arizona at Home Fund is so popular, it's running out of money. So when's the end date? Probably another four or five months, I would say. The legislature could replenish the housing assistance fund next year. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.